The best thing that parents can do to help their kids navigate the whole issue of gender identity is to first develop loving, healthy relationships with your kids. And so a father needs to have a, a warm relationship with kids. He needs to give his kids the three A's, attention, affection, and affirmation. Moms need to, to develop and cultivate uh, uh, loving, warm, close relationships with their kids. That then will be a healthy context in which to have these conversations, healthy relationships with parents. But then you gotta have the conversation. And if the conversation doesn't start when they're in junior high and high school and they start hearing about you know, their friend who is uh, gender neutral or gender fluid or questioning or whatever it might be, that conversation actually starts when they're three, four, five, six years old, when you're starting to teach them the biblical story. And the biblical story starts with God creating the world. He, he creates it good, but he also creates man in his image, male and female, he creates them. That's where our gender identity conversation starts, with the biblical picture of reality. There is a fixed reality, an objective reality out there, that God has created two genders, males and females. And we want to start from the get-go uh, teaching our kids that, helping them to understand that's the nature of reality. And I think we want to talk about it that way. So as we're having these conversations, it's not just our story. It's not just what we believe. But this is the nature of reality no matter what you believe. This is objective truth, even if no one believes it, even if the entire culture doesn't affirm it. And we start there. And then what we help our young people see as they get older and they start to engage with friends who are questioning these kinds of things, or they, they have that friend at school who wonders whether they really are a, a boy or a girl, a male or a female, is we want them to lead with compassion. That, that friend's brokenness is now being expressed. This comes out of deep woundedness and brokenness. So we need to help our kids lead that conversation with love and grace and compassion for their transgender friend.